Hey everybody, and welcome to today's show of Let's Talk in English on PTS and on the radio. My name is Gabe. And my name is Andrea. Now, all week we've been talking about spring. Today we're going to talk about a special holiday in the spring. And Gabe, what is the name of that holiday? This is Easter holiday. We want you to be able to talk about Easter as well. So listen to today's lesson carefully. Now, let's start with the key words. The first one is Easter. Easter. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite is Easter. Church. Church. Can you come to church with me on Sunday? Egg. Egg. Joel eats two eggs for breakfast every day. And we say our keywords two times every day. Let's say them together. The first one is Easter. Easter. Church. Church. Egg. Egg. Well, hey, let's go check out and see what our mission for today is. Yeah. Eddie? Uh, is, is today Easter? T today, is, <laughs> today is not Easter. Yeah. But, but Easter is coming. Yes, that's right. And is our mission coming? Uh, our mission is always coming. It's, it's, it's here. Here's our mission. Well, good. Uh, okay, uh, our mission is, what is Renee looking forward to? What is Renee looking forward to? Well, I know what I'm looking forward to, finding out the answer to this mission in today's lesson, right now. Hey Max, do you have any special plans for Sunday? Not really. I'll probably just relax. Sunday is my day off, you know. I know. But Sunday is also Easter. This Sunday is Easter? Oh, no. Don't you like Easter? Oh, it's a great holiday. I, I just remembered something. I'm cooking the Easter breakfast at church. Hey, it's Max's day <laughs> off here on Easter Sunday. Andrea, what does it mean to have a day off? When you have a day off, you don't have to go to work. You have a day of free time. It's a day of free time to do what you want to do. Do you have a day off sometime? Well, if you are working, you can have a day off, and you can also have a day off if you are at school. Okay, well, let's look at this first keyword. The one is Easter. Easter. Easter is a holiday in the spring that celebrates new life. And Christians, or Jidutu, like to celebrate Easter. They remember Jesus and what he did. So Easter is a holiday. Every spring we celebrate Easter. It's a holiday that changes every year. The date of the holiday changes. But it's always in the spring, in March, or in April. That's right, and it's always on a Sunday. That is the Easter holiday. Well, let's look at our next key word here. The word is church. Church. Now, a church is a building that Christians go to to be with each other and also to learn more about Jesus and about God. So church is Jiao Hui. A church is a place that you go to, and Gabe's right, it's a building. Now, why do people go to church? Well, they go to church to meet other people and to learn about God. Most people go to church on Sunday, but you can go to church any day. That's right, and Max is going to be cooking breakfast for the Easter service at church. You're cooking on your day off. I'm sorry, Max. I'm not. If Max is cooking, then breakfast will be great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it already. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm looking forward to small towns Easter activities in the afternoon. The parade, the Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg hunt, oh no. What's wrong? I am supposed to boil 200 eggs. And Sarah is supposed to help decorate them. So? She doesn't know yet. So Max is going to cook breakfast on his day off. Now, having an Easter morning breakfast is an Easter tradition. You start the celebration early in the morning. That's right, you start early in the morning and Max is going to be making breakfast for everyone there. And Simon is already looking forward to Max's breakfast. Now, what is Renee looking forward to? Well, friends, that's the answer to today's mission. The question is, what is Renee looking forward to? What is Renee looking forward to? Renee is looking forward to small towns Easter activities in the afternoon. And one of those activities is an Easter egg hunt. Friends, let's learn our keyword. It is egg. Egg. An egg is something that you eat. We usually eat eggs that come from a chicken. That's right. So eggs can come from chickens. They can come from ducks. Different things give, different animals give us eggs. And like Andrea said, you can eat eggs in different ways. Andrea, how do you like to eat eggs? Well, I like to eat eggs all mixed together and you add vegetables and onions and then you cook it. Wait a minute, Andrea, that sounds like something we learned before. That's true. Do you remember, Gabe? I remember because Max likes to make this. It is an omelet. Yes, eggs are what you use to make an omelet. I also enjoy eating tea eggs. Oh, tea eggs. Chaiyetan. Of course, these are eggs that have a little tea flavor. Tea eggs. Well, an Easter egg hunt is a time when you look for eggs. Easter eggs are usually beautiful. They're many different colors and it sounds like Max and Sarah are going to be making a lot of them. They will. Max will be boiling. That means he will be putting the eggs in hot water to make them hard. He will boil the eggs. Song time. Hey everybody, it's that time again. It's time for today's song time. Are you ready for it? Well, before we start, we have someone special here with us on Let's Talk in English today. His name is Rex. Do you remember Rex? Hey, Rex! Hey, Gabe. Hi, everybody. 大家好,我是 Rex. It's nice to be here for today's song time. And I'm glad that you are here. Now, today's song is called what, Rex? It's up to you. It's up to you. And do you like this song? I love this song. So it's a good song. It's a great song. Really? That's great. Well, I have a question for you. Who wrote the words to this song? <laughs> I did. Really? And who wrote the music to this song? <laughs> I did. So you wrote the whole song? I did, but with the help of the other Sunshine Singers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you would think of these, this melody for these words, and then what would happen? And after I finished the whole song, I would present it to my writing partners, Christina or Angus, to make the song even better. Oh, no wonder it's such a good song. Thank you, and it's fun to sing too. It is fun to sing. Hey, since you wrote this song, I have a question about part of it. There's one part of the song that says, people pass you by. What does that mean? That means people pass by you. When people pass by you, that means people walk by you. Okay, so I'm going to pass by Rex right now. Rex, you just stay right there. Hi, Gabe. And now I'm going to pass by Rex again. Hello again, Gabe. There. I have passed by Rex twice. You can also say, I passed him by. Hey Gabe, 
I said hello when you passed by me. Why didn't you say hello to me? I didn't? Oh. I thought we were friends. Oh, but we are friends. I'm sorry I didn't say hello. He's right. Usually, when friends see each other or they pass by each other, they might say hello. But I didn't say hello. That's right. Gabe should have said hello. Okay, so that's what it means. So let me sing this. People pass by you. You know not what's inside. No, 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 Gabe. That's not how it goes. It goes. People pass you by. You know now what's inside. Oh, I get it. That's why you wrote the song this way because those words sound the same. The word by rhymes with the word inside. That's right. By and inside 是有押韵的 If you listen closely, there are a lot of words in this song that rhyme. Hey, you're right. Like living day by day in the same old way. Day rhymes with way. It's time for you to know. Stepping out is the way to go. No, can go 是有押韵的 And of course, like we just heard, people pass you by. You know not what's inside. By rhymes with inside. So if there are two words that sound the same, you can say that they rhyme, or you can say that one word rhymes with another word. And there are many words in this song that do rhyme. So listen closely now as we go and watch today's song time. It's, It's up, up to you. you to know stepping out is the way to go people pass you by you know no what's inside lonely souls with doubt and fear needing a word of joy and cheer it's up to you it's up to me to be Hey Max, do you have any special plans for Sunday? Not really. I'll probably just relax. Sunday is my day off, you know. I know, but Sunday is also Easter. This Sunday is Easter? Oh no. Don't you like Easter? Oh, it's a great holiday. I, I just remembered something. I'm cooking the Easter breakfast at church. You're cooking on your day off. I'm sorry, Max. I'm not. If Max is cooking, then breakfast will be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to small towns Easter activities in the afternoon. The parade, the Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg hunt. Oh no! What's wrong? I am supposed to boil 200 eggs. And Sarah is supposed to help decorate them. So, she doesn't know yet.
calendar phrase. Well, you know, Andrea, I was thinking about coloring on a piece of paper, but I think there's a better idea, don't you? Well, what should we do? Let's color some eggs. Hey, let's do that. But first, let's teach our calendar phrase. Okay, well, it's a good phrase. The phrase uh, is, let's color some eggs. Let's color some eggs. During Easter time, it is tradition to color some Easter eggs. And you know, it's tradition for us to watch the calendar phrase every day. Let's do it right now. Let's color some eggs. Let's color some eggs. I love Easter. Great! Can you help us get ready for our Easter celebration? I would love to. Okay, let's color some eggs. I love coloring eggs. Do you have any eggs? Yes, I have some right here. Great! Then let's color some eggs. I want to help too. Well, well come, come on! on. Let's, Let's all color, color some, some eggs. eggs. Let's color some eggs. Let's color some eggs. Well, here we go. Now it's time for the question of the day. The question go, of the day. Yeah, Eddie. Sorry, did Eddie, I interrupt you? What is the question of the day? The question of the day. Ha, uh, the question of the day. All right. Do you celebrate Easter? Why or why not? Do you celebrate Easter? Why or, or why not? Yes, I celebrate Easter. It's one of my favorite holidays. I celebrate because I believe in the Easter story. Okay, great. Well, do you celebrate Easter, everybody? Thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. Where celebrating Easter really can be fun and learning English as well. Have a good day. Bye-bye.